Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Microsoft rolled out a point release update for Edge. And as I mentioned earlier today, one of the undocumented changes that the update made was moving Edge WebView 2 from the apps and features list on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 and popping it a little bit deeper into the system, the hidden system files. Now, both those videos will be linked down below in the end screen, but just to let you know about another undocumented change that the same point release rolled out last week. So there was quite a lot going on in that point release update. And this change was spotted by a viewer of this channel called WHM Extra. That's the username, and they said that I missed one. And I'm always grateful when people point out features um, that maybe I've, I haven't spotted or I've missed, and then let me know about it, and then I can make a video about it, and then put it out there so the rest of you guys can find out about it, as an example, if you're using Microsoft Edge. Now, the change is regarding downloads. And one of the changes I did mention previously in that other video last week was that we had this dialogue now, or this um, d this description in the downloads dialogue um, regarding when you download files from the web, they'll show up here. Now, this was not the only change. And the, the feature I missed is if I just head quickly to something I can download, and it will just have to be big enough so I can just talk about it while it's downloading. Let's go here quickly. Uh, let's uh, pop that on, pop that on. Wait for that to activate. Choose one. And let's confirm. And let's just quickly download this so you can see what I'm talking about. So here we go. So you will see now when that download starts in the downloads bubble and hub that um, drops down. Um, it now shows options save and save as where previously you had to choose between save and save as. There was a drop-down menu. It wasn't all displayed in the same menu. And that was obviously alongside open. And I think this is a helpful change because it just kind of puts it a little bit more there, displays it a little bit more, a little bit more upfront. And I think this is a nice little small significant change where you can now click open, save as, and save where previously you had either save as or save in a drop-down menu. So Microsoft just popped this into one dialog. And if I go save as, and I just get that download going, you'll notice something else that's happening is there's now a cancel button. Okay, you can still pause the download, but now you can actually cancel that download directly now from the, the download bubble. And then you can also resume it again which I think is a nice move. So just a little couple of tweaks and adjustments that Microsoft didn't mention in that update and very grateful when I get um, knowledge of these from viewers on the channel who point these things out to me and just wanted to bring that to your attention uh, in case you guys were unaware. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.